During World War II, Japan took tens of thousands of prisoners. One of them was Wing Commander Bill Woods of Britain's Royal Air Force. He was taken prisoner in Singapore in 1942 and endured terrible suffering. His daughter Liz Bestick tells a story she is calling on the Japanese government to face up to the country's war crimes. Not only were the prisoners terribly tortured physically, but the mental torture must have been awful. And it certainly affected my father when he came home. He was staked out in the, in the midday sun um, with a glass of water just out of reach. It was a, a horrendous torture. For a laugh, they would, you know, make the prisoners drink a pint of water or more and then gleefully jump on their stomachs to sort of berth their stomachs as a bit of fun. The Kempatai, which were the secret police, would come into the camp and that was terrifying apparently because they, they, they'd speed up in these cars and, and they'd order 10 random men to be taken outside and they'd be ordered to dig their own graves and then they'd just shoot them. The general living conditions were appalling. Dysentery and um, all sorts of diseases were rife, you know, and a lot of them just died from beriberi and all sorts of diseases which were the result of eating a pure rice diet. Dad tried to um, catch wild snakes or little creatures, you know, and eat those to try and get any amount of protein. They were just inhumane conditions. The trauma my dad experienced damaged him for the rest of his life. This is London calling. It's probably from here, Alexandra Palace, an early BBC broadcast centre, that many of the families would have first heard their loved ones had been captured. Here is the news. Um, contacted the um, Red Cross and found nothing out about my father. They tried to find out where he was. And in fact, he'd written two cards to her, but I don't think she got them until he'd alre she already knew he was, had been released. The war in the Far East is called the Forgotten War, not helped by the years it took for the Japanese to apologize. I'd say own up to the crimes that you've committed in the past. You know, it's a long time ago, but it was real. And you can't deny it, and you can't keep on denying it.